I don't know if this is any different, but, uh, oops. Oh, shoot! Uh, <laughs> look at his face, man. Look at his entire body, bro. He's out here looking like Two-Face. That, in Kung Lao's head, looks exactly like William Birkin's eye. I'm not even kidding. His face be looking like some beef jerky. Toggle damage on and off. And then, oh boy. <laughs> There's, there's really no safe way to do this. <laughs> is there? Man, every every place I zoom in, it's a danger zone. It's a it's a danger zone, bro. He's black now. <laughs> this dude looks like a feral ghoul. Like, not even with the damage, like, just normal by himself. He looks like a feral ghoul from, like, Fallout. And dang, look at that eye, dude. Does this girl not wear underwear at all? <laughs> She's going commando, and she is a commander. I mean, like... <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Barry Aaron with Dilla Dynamics Gaming. So I just got a uh, special software for my PC that's gonna allow me to record games on my computer. So this is gonna open up my channel to a whole bunch of new videos and it's gonna be awesome. I hope you're excited, I am too. And now that I have this new software, the first thing I want to try out is recording a PC game and one of the ones that I have from a long time ago, now I can finally run it, um, it's Mortal Kombat 9 and I used to play it all the time when I was younger, when it first came out and what I want to do today is I want to go into the crypt and I just want to look at all the damage concepts, it's something that's super easy because um, I forgot all the moves to this game, it's been such a long time and the other reason why is because the damage concepts um, really intrigued me when I used to look at them. I thought it was really cool. What the damage concepts basically are, it's, um, as you're fighting in the game, the characters, they become damaged, and their skin, or, like, how they look, it starts to change, and it starts to, like, show damage, pretty much. Like, some characters will have, like, their eye pop out, some of them will have, like, their, like, bones sticking out. It's really gruesome, and it's really sick, but it's really cool. Um, they, I think they took that mechanic out of the game of, uh, I don't know if it was in Mortal Kombat 10 or X, but it wasn't in Mortal Kombat 11 for sure. Um, it's a bit ridiculous, but it's pretty cool. I know Injustice had it though, but to a much lesser extent. And I remember trying to look this up on YouTube like a couple years ago. Um, I still, I haven't looked it up since then, but when I looked it up, nothing came up. And um, you can't really find that many images on Google. Like, you can find it for some characters, like Cabal. Like, you see, like, his eye and everything. But we're going to check it out here today. And it's going to be awesome. Let's get into it. All right, so here we are in the Necropolis. Um, with all the different character... What are they? Shrines? Portals? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so there's all these different characters... Um, and we're going to take a look at their damage concepts, and we're going to start, actually, all the way at the end here, and then we're just going to keep going left to right. So, first one's Kenshi. I think that's Shao Kahn. Alright, so, this is how, like, the characters normally look. Like, I don't know why it's so zoomed, though, but, oh, there, there we go. Uh, toggle damage. And then, isn't that gruesome? Like, check that out. Like, uh, I guess that's what this video is going to be. We're just going to go through all the characters, and we're going to take a look at them. And, I don't know, maybe we'll rate the damage on them. See who would, who has it, like, the worst. Uh, has some, you know... So, just looking at him right now, um, look at his face. Like, he's, he's a blind dude, um, but the blindfold gets ripped. You can see his face. He's got some nasty scars, especially in that chin right there, um, right in the center of his chest. I think just looking at this right now, like the worst gash is on his right arm right there because you can kind of see bone. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is a pretty gruesome video. Honestly, all in all, I don't think he has like that bad damage on him compared to the other characters that you're about to see. Like I clearly remember some of them like being much worse. All right, so this is Kenshi's bio, and then you could also t toggle the damage here. All right, so we have Rain here, and this is how he looks like normally. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. They start really zoomed in. 
and toggle damage. And I think this one's much worse than Kenshi. Like, so you could see this guy's face kind of, like he has a mask on normally, but you can kind of see his face now, like his mouth and his nose. I think it's really cool that you can, that they actually have the textures for these characters' faces underneath the mask. I think that's really cool. Um, yeah, you can kind of see his skull here. It's pretty nasty. He has a lot more damage on his body than Kenshi did. Like, I don't think Kenshi had it that bad, but Rain has it pretty bad. Like, look at his, look at his right arm. That's mangled completely, especially lower down. And then if you look at his like leg here, the top, kind of by his hip. And, oh, so you can see both of his leg bones here. And uh, you can see his, his toes. It's, it's really nasty. So honestly, all in all, I think his damage is way worse than Kenshi's. All right, and Rain's bio reads like this. You can pause it if you want to read any of these character bios. I don't know if they have this anywhere else on YouTube. Um, but if you want to pause it, just go ahead and read it. It's a cool little reference here. Baraka. All right, so now we have Baraka. Big boy Baraka. And uh, yeah, his mouth is wide open, ready to rip some flesh off some people. Toggle some damage and... Man, these developers really don't like right arms at all. Like, almost as much as Star Wars doesn't like right arms. Like, look at this. Let's start off here, because I mean, this is just what gets my attention first. Like, his right arm is messed up, and his bone is sticking out way more. Like, uh, his femur, I think is what it's called, and his leg. It's way it's sticking out way more than Rain was. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see guts there in his stomach. But uh, then you have his chest. Now his face is his face is nasty. Uh, his nose is just destroyed. He's missing an ear. Oh, that's actually that's that's terrible. He's yeah, he's missing an ear. He's missing some teeth. You know, I I kept asking this question when we were playing Mortal Kombat 11. I kept asking. Sometimes when you uppercut someone in Mortal Kombat 11, you'll have like a little crushing blow, and their 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 their, uh, their teeth will be knocked out. It'll be like an X-ray move. But the only character whose teeth doesn't get knocked out is Baraka. And I, I kept saying, maybe he has strong teeth. But uh, if you look here, yeah, his teeth are like completely destroyed. It's nasty. And then top of his head, you could see his, his skull. Like, honestly, though, like all of these characters would be dead. Like, any kind of... I mean, this is Mortal Kombat. I mean, obviously, but... <laughs> you have his back here, and you could see his spine... It's nasty. His arm right here. Uh, and then his legs are shredded. Like this, I, is that bone? I think that's bone, yeah. His leg his leg is shredded to bits. Honestly, all, all in all though, I don't, I think him and Rain have it pretty, I think he actually here might have it a little bit worse than Rain. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. <laughs> and here's Baraka's bio and damage concept on and off. Yeah, he looks real messed up. Like, he looks nasty. So, so far, if we're rating these, <laughs> rate the damage concepts, uh, I think so far it's getting worse and worse, like, it, like in terms of how bad these characters look. But, you know. All right, so this is Baraka's alternate costume. I guess some of these characters have alternate costumes. And um, Baraka here, I don't know if this is supposed to be like Revenant Baraka or something. I don't know. I can't remember if he died in the game. But this is his second costume. I, I don't know if this is a different bio than the first one. I think it might just be the same thing. But this is what the damage... Co oh, whoa, whoa, what? Okay, I we, we're going to zoom into him in a second, but... Okay. Check this out, dude. This is way worse than the first one. So he he has his ears here, but his chin's like, like fallen off. He's missing a bunch of teeth. I don't know, maybe even more than last time. Yeah, more teeth than last time. The lips are all ripped up. His eye is destroyed. Um, his skull is out. Side of his face, back of his head. His back actually isn't too messed up compared to the other character. Oop, sorry, I'm getting the hang of this con this controller with the the PC, but uh, his. 
arm actually isn't that bad on the back here. Like, he still has his blades and his arms, like, or uh, little spikes, I mean. His hands, a little bit messed up. Now, up here, his shoulder is pretty messed up, his chest. But honestly, this isn't, this actually isn't as bad as the other one before. His face is worse. His, yeah, his face is worse than before, um, in terms of damage. But actually, the rest of his body, like his legs, they are pretty mangled, but you can't really see bone. Maybe a little bit up here, actually, but actually, no, I, I stand corrected. You can see bone right here and his, and his leg. But yeah, Baraka, anyway, it, it's, Baraka is the worst one so far in terms of damage. He has the most amount of damage. On Cyrax, so Cyrax has two character bios. Um, I'm, I'm pretty, I, I remember this. One is human and one is right here, uh, cyborg form, right? So this is what. He looks like normally. Um, and then toggle the bio. And we're going to toggle the dam. Ooh. Toggle the damage off. Back on. And then we're going to go back to here. So, I mean, he's a cyborg. So this isn't bad. But I know that the, the Lin Kuei cyborgs, they have their organs and everything inside of them. And I remember some of them, like, I know Cyber Sub-Zero, you could see his brain. But this one actually isn't that bad. I mean, I guess the damage was, was already done to him when, like, you know, he became a cyborg. Um, I'm pretty sure it was against his will, though. I know Sector wanted to become a cyborg. I don't think Cyrax wanted to. So he's, like, missing, like, a, a foot piece here, but... On his right foot. But, I mean, he's a cyborg, so... All in all, it's actually not that bad. I think, honestly speaking, he has the least amount of damage. I mean... I know it might seem kind of obvious because he's a cyborg, but if you look at Cyber Sub-Zero, I remember that. Messed up. But I'm sure that his human form is going to be pretty mangled, like way more. So this is what Cyrax looks like um, in human form before he became a, um, a uh, Cyber Lin Kuei assassin. He was just a normal Lin Kuei assassin. Toggle the bio, and I, I'm not really reading these. If you want to read these, go ahead and pause it, but... I don't know if it's any different, it might be the same, but toggle damage, and this is what this dude looks like. So his the bridge of his nose is messed up, his black eye, kind of see his skull here. Compared to the other ones, this is not as bad, the back of his head. The back is kind of messed up, not too much. I'm going a little bit faster here, but I think that's alright. His arms, a little bit messed up. Uh, this is kind of an awkward place, like by his midsection, to have like a, a cut. Like, it's, that's, that's a really weird place to have, like, in the center, like, by his belt. Belt buckle, where it would, it would be. Uh, that's kind of odd. Um, and then he has some on his legs here. And then... So, his, yeah, his legs are pretty messed up. Especially um, this left leg here. You can see the bone in the foot and higher up and on both sides. Well, not the bone in the back, but the muscle. So his leg is pretty messed up, but honestly speaking, it's not that bad. This one is like, he's more damaged here, obviously, than in his Cyrax, in his Cyborg form. But I honestly still think that Baraka has it the worst. By far. So far. So Ermac, once again, has two character bios. Character skins. And this is what my dude Ermac looks like. Normally. It's a cool design. He looks like a mummy here. I think he always looked like a mummy, actually. Like, in this one and in MKX. I've missed him, though, on MK11. He might be DLC. Combat Pack 2. Maybe. Um, and this is his bio. And then we're going to toggle his damage. And uh, he's pretty messed up. I think it's pretty cool that you can see his face underneath here. I, I like the attention to detail. You can kind of tell kind of what he looks like. Um, you can see his teeth. His mouth is ripped. You can see his head, like his the, the his skull, I mean. You see some veins. This eye is kind of messed up, but... <laughs> kind of messed up. It's super messed up, but... So his back is pretty ripped up. Arms. Yeah, his body is destroyed. Um, I think he's missing both nipples now, which is, like, really weird. Um, some awkward places to get, you know. And then, once again, in his midsection, kind of here by his belt... Um, let's see the left hand here. Uh, not as bad. The legs, 
are pretty messed up. You can see his bones here and his leg. Um, and then, uh, oh shoot, you can see his kneecap. Ew. And, yeah, and his foot and his kneecap. So honestly, all in all, I think this is this might be the worst one so far. This one of Barack is the worst one. Actually, no, scratch that. This is the worst one so far. This is way worse. This is this is nasty. Yeah. Um, and now let's see what his alternate costume looks like. I honestly forgot what the second one looks like. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. I like this second costume. Check that out. It's actually way more sleek than the first one. Like, don't get me wrong, I like the first one. But I think this one is just way cooler. Toggle bio. Um, probably the same thing. And this guy has a lot of damage. His eye is messed up. Even, uh, yeah, um, you can see his cheekbone a little bit. His nose is ripped up. See his lip here. His This entire side of his mouth is destroyed. You can see all of his teeth. Um, top of his head back so his back is pretty messed up you can see his spine his arms are ripped Ooh, in the mid middle here it's like ripped down but um once again like ermac is a collection of souls so his body though it i'm pretty sure his body was i, I might be wrong but i'm pretty sure it was made in the flesh pits by like shang sung or someone it's funny because the cuts kind of blend in with the costume a little bit it's like that line from deadpool i wear red so they can't see me bleed you can see some bone here. And actually interesting, I think up here too. It's kind of weird. Is that his butt? I think, yeah, his, ew. <laughs> like his butt is like this, like ripped up too. But luckily we can't see that. Um, And then, yeah. So that's his alternate costume. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think this one's worse. I think the first one was way worse. Like his normal costume is way more messed up than, uh, oops, than this one. Jade, don't you just miss these co <laughs> the, the costumes? Um, but yeah, man, uh, this is how females used to look in this in uh, the Mortal Kombat series. Uh, I don't mean to be zooming in or anything. I'm just I'm just uh, trying to show the uh, the damage here. And honestly, all in all, uh, it's not it's not that bad. Just looking at it. And so this is the bio for Jade. Um, and man, does she look different in uh, MK11? Let's just uh, let's say that. So her eye is bloodshot. Her nose is kind of messed up. I don't know if she's twitching there with her face. Um, I mean, I would be too if my face looked like that after fighting in a Mortal Kombat tournament. I mean, honestly, look at her cheek ripped up. So her back is pretty messed up. Um, and then I think there's some bones sticking out of her arm. Yeah, that's, and her, her, her hand here. There's really no way to zoom in here and sh like show details like of like damage here without it being, <laughs> she has like a, like a, I don't know, like a burn on her arm, on her, on her left bicep. And I'm trying to, her finger, like this is a smaller detail, but if you look at her finger, her left index finger is completely just bone. You see that? Like, it's like uh, Miles Upshur from uh, Outlast. Her knee is completely out. Um, ex <laughs> I was going to say exposed, but I mean, she, she in general is exposed. Yeah, I mean, this is like, she she took some damage. Man, I just, there's really nothing I could say here without like it being like, that's what she said. I mean, really. <laughs> so what I think is interesting, though, is that they they um cover up all the girls now in Mortal Kombat 11 and I don't really have a problem with that. I don't really care. I think it makes more sense that they're actually wearing armor now, you know, cuz I didn't think it made much sense for them to just like like be dressed like this and fighting. Like some people like these kind of designs and honestly, I don't blame them, but when it comes to like story-wise like sense, you're not going to be fighting dressed like this, like Princess Leia here. Um you're gonna be like armored. So I think that makes sense. I think that's, I think it made sense. It was a good move for them to like dress them up more. Um, although I feel like the females, they look more like men now in MK11. Just, that's just my opinion. I, I just think they, they don't look as feminine.
you know? But then where I think the argument is kind of stupid is if you look at, um, what's it called? If you look at the men in the game, because there was some interview when they were talking about why they dress women in MK11, like, like completely head to toe covered, except for Sindel. <laughs> yeah. In the interview, the person though said the reason why that was, was because it didn't make sense, you know, to be fighting with like dressed like this. And that makes sense. I agree with you there. But if that's the case, why is pretty much most of the roster who's male, why are all of almost all of the men shirtless? That makes no sense. Because if you're going to be dressed like this fighting as a woman, okay, I could see why you'd be dressed like you'd be shirtless as a man fighting, right? That's like, that's equal. But like, for then, for then the woman to have like armor and like completely covered head to toe, I have no problem with that. But for the men though, to like be like shirtless and fighting, that doesn't apply the same logic there. It's not really fair. So it's kind of hypocritical to say that. And it just kind of cancels out the entire point. But that's just my opinion. That's just what I think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, um, whether you agree with me or you don't. Her ear is completely mangled here. I think it's cool that you could actually see their faces, that the hand is pretty ripped up. And then the knee, the knee, once again, like her knee is like pretty messed up in both, in both ones. But uh, honestly speaking, I don't think this one was that bad compared to the other one. But I still think that Ermac has it the worst and then Baraka has it the second worst. So now we got big boy Jax here and this is what he looks like. And, oh yeah, this is, this is bad, bro. His nose is destroyed. His lip is messed up. He's missing a couple teeth at the top. And, um, man, it almost looks like he was fighting himself. <laughs> like, cause it, like, like if you look at his like robo arms, like it looks like something like this could do that. I don't know. Like any normal person fighting would be, well, this is Mortal Kombat. The, the laws of physics and anything, they don't really apply here. But <laughs> it's still fun, though. His skull's out. Side of his face is destroyed. Um, other side of his face, pretty messed up. His back is pretty messed up. What I don't really understand, though, is how... If you look at the graft here, like, this is the metal here. How is it... How is it ripped up here, like, flesh, when it's, like, metal here? I don't know. And then his ribs are messed up. And then once again, another nipple lost. Yeah, this game really doesn't like right arms and left legs, like like knees. They don't like left knees and they don't like right arms. Oh, actually, never mind. Look at this side. Yeah, like his his leg is. It looks like Baraka like ripped like ate a chunk out of his leg or Molina or something. But all in all, though, like I know this is pretty gruesome. Like all of them, like you're not surviving this. This is like a friggin' bear attack. Like like out of the Revenant. I mean, I didn't watch the movie, but I. I saw that one bear attack and it was gnarly. I still think the worst one is Ermac. Jax is up there though. I think Ermac's the worst. Brock is second worst. And then Jax is like third. So Jax here has his arms. This is before he lost them. And um, Bio once again. I don't know if this is any different. But uh, oops. Oh shoot! Waterworks. Uh, <laughs> look at his face, man. Look at his entire body, bro. Look, dude. Man. Oh, this is by far the worst. This is, this is the worst one yet. Dude, his, okay, his eye is destroyed, bro. He, he's looking, he's out here looking like Two-Face. Look at that. He's look. he looks like Two-Face from the Dark Knight. Like, man. His chin's destroyed. Get some skin hanging off you could see like his skull you could see some veins up in his head you can see the cheek oh man and then you so right arm that's just that's just nasty that's na you could dude you could see some purple veins bro some blue veins in, up in there the back is the back isn't that bad but still pretty messed up um i'm trying to like zoom into his arm on this side but yeah, so if you look at his arm up over here on the left side, his left arm mess up inside. Um, and then, so he lost both nipples this time. Which is, man, what the, 
it's pretty it's pretty messed up look at his side here ripped up is he, and then this is his left knee it's always it's why is it always the left knee here with these characters his left knee bone is out same with the bottom of his foot leg i think this is a bone here too um and then yeah man this is this is the worst one so far this i think this is going to be a great thumbnail this one and baraka and maybe ermac actually no ermac too yeah so jax is the worst one so far the second costume though jax's second costume is by far the most like nasty one and then uh, ermac first costume i think or was it the second and then it's it was uh baraka so now we have my boy johnny cage here him and Liu Kang are my favorite characters. I love them. They're awesome. So the boy Johnny Cage. Dude, he has his name tattooed on his chest. Tell me that's not funny. And then he has his, his then he has his last name as his belt. But uh Yeah, man. I think I have his action figure somewhere here actually. Yeah, hold on a sec. I actually have the MK9 action figures. Ugh. All right. So actually I'll show them as the characters come up on screen. But uh this is super nerdy. Check this out. This is Johnny Cage, baby. This is him right there on screen, except he's kind of bloody here. But he's not as bloody. I don't know if this is going to focus or not. But he's not as bloody as he is. Well, as you're going to see him in a second on screen. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's a little four-inch action figure, though. But uh, I have a couple more to show you guys in a sec. I'm going to put this down for now, though. So, yeah, this is the boy Johnny Cage. Um... How he looks normally and i know that he has a second costume too this is his bio and this is gonna be pretty brutal i think yeah it's not as bad but this is what he looks like his shades his 500 dollars shades are destroyed once again um but for some reason it's still hanging on his face i don't know how that's still hanging on his face like that but uh his eye is pretty messed up but he can still see it's like a black eye a little bit. His forehead is pretty messed up. He's not going to be acting in any Hollywood movies anytime soon <laughs> anymore. Uh, at least not without like a bunch of plastic surgery or something. Bruised cheek, bloody nose. But honestly, all in all, like he, he doesn't look like it, this isn't that bad. Um, chest is bruised, but he still has both nipples. <laughs> I, mean, I think it's funny how that's like an injury in this game too. Like, and then, well, actually, then. Well, that's kind of messed up. The arm here. Uh, and of course, the right arm is much m worse than the left arm. As the pattern goes. You can see his bone kind of here. Um, and then the back. Oh, okay. This is where the damage is. So his spine, you could see. I think this is the worst spinal um, injury so far. Like, out of the ones so far. You could see his spine. Re like, yeah. And then his legs. Um... His toes? Oh, well, actually, his toes don't seem to be damaged, actually. But I don't know why he's not wearing socks. He's, like, he's going to be... He's fighting, but he's not wearing any socks in his uh in his shoes and his sneakers. But then, other than that, like, I don't think there's any bones popping out of his legs here. So, that's... uh Honestly, all in all, he, he has one of the least amount of damage. And, and of course, his, and then his cage is... His, uh, his cage belt buckle is dented and um what i think is funny though is like his tattoo it's not even damaged like can you imagine how pissed off like he would be if like part of the johnny just got like ripped off and he had just like like joe or something or like or like ani or like or like hn just like huh? that <laughs> that was so weird that'd be pretty funny though okay and then we have the alternate character bio his alternate skin and this is his party outfit or well, not his party outfit but uh this was at the start of the story mode. This is how he was dressed in his uh, in his little suit here. And I think this is the same bio for all. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, man, his eyes, his eyes are bloodshot. So uh, for some reason, it's always the right eye that like the shade breaks off on. I guess it was like to save resources because it would probably take some time to like. Like they probably just recycle the same like, damage concept for that like. The, for both of them and that makes sense like it, it would save time in uh, development so yep his nose is busted his he has a yeah his nose is crooked now um it's real battered his nose uh 
And same with his eye. It's a terrible black eye. It's real bloody. And he's still trying to smile uh, sweet on him. And then uh, it's kind of a weird scar here, just like in the middle there. Um, uh, these, this actually isn't that bad. Like, yeah, this one, I actually, interestingly enough, and then his leg kind of is, actually, inter yeah, I think this one isn't as bad as the other one. The other one wasn't as bad, like, it wasn't that bad, but I, I still think that, really, because the only, like, brutal thing here, really, like, like, of this standard, of course, of this Mortal Kombat standard is his face. But still, I mean, his eye isn't popping out. He has all his teeth and his mouth and everything. So I would say that he has, he probably has the least amount of damage out of all these characters so far. Except for maybe Kenshi. Because I don't remember Kenshi's bone sticking out. Now, Cabal, I remember, was an interesting one. Cabal was pretty interesting. So Cabal is... Oh, I, I didn't mean to open it so fast. I was going to show the bio first, but... uh. Here's the bio, and uh, yeah, so he got real, he got burnt to a crisp, and I'm pretty sure his second costume is um, him normal, uh, I mean not normal, before he got burned, when he was still a police officer, and I gotta say, I like his, his backstory here in MK9, I think they changed it in MK11, like how they did for Sindel, but I think Sindel's backstory sucks the way that they changed it in MK11, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's trash. It's my opinion. But I also think that Cabal's backstory was better here. Like, he was a police officer, and he was working with Striker. He was former Black Dragon, but he had reformed, and we're going to see his damage now. Um, nasty. But, I mean, to be honest, he was pretty ugly to start with. <laughs> Not in MK11, though. I mean, but here, like, dude. Yeah, like, dude, like, this is nasty. Um... So he was already blind in this eye right here, the left eye, because I, I guess the fire. But um, now his mouth is ripped open and the back of his head. I'm surprised how when he got burned, though, like his entire body, for some reason, his hair didn't like get get burned. Isn't that weird? Because he has really long hair. And um, he was fine. Uh, and then you got his arms here. Honestly, all in all, the rest of his body I don't think is as bad. Now, he's a runner. He's... he's oh, so, okay. This is the first right knee that's damaged here. Um, oh, damn! Now, that is ironic. So, he's a runner. He's fast. That's what his power is. And his, um, his femur, I believe, is snapped. And that's the hardest bone in your body to break right up here. And that's snapped, bro. And I think it's ironic because he's a runner. He runs. And... That's snapped. I think that's interesting. And I'm pretty sure his x-ray is like him like breaking the other opponent's legs and everything. So I think it's interesting. And then his, his fabric here is ripped. but uh, And back here too. But honestly, the worst part is his face. <laughs> what was the worst one? Yeah, Jax was by far the worst one. Oh, and I think this is, this is interesting. So for some reason, this is his second costume. And I thought he wasn't going to be burned here too. But he's still burned. I guess it wouldn't make sense to have him play, like, um, have his speed powers and not be burned. Because he got his speed powers after he got burned. But, toggle bio. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. And, yeah. So, this actually isn't as bad. Like, yeah. This really isn't that bad. If you look at his head. His body. His, his arm's kind of damaged. I, I, is this implanted in his chest, though? I think it might be. That little metal thing. Um, and then... Honestly, all in all, I think Cabal doesn't have that much damage. The first one was way worse than this one. But, uh... Oh, that's weird. How is... So this pouch is still there, and... For some reason, the pouch isn't damaged, but behind the pouch is. It's kind of odd, but... So Kano's up next, and... He's two costumes. I think, actually, maybe all the characters have two costumes. Was that the trend so far? I think it was all of them except for the DLC characters. So we got Kano here. Um, got some back hair. Um, oh, and, uh, yeah, he's a hairy dude. He's got some hair all over his arms and everything. I didn't even notice any of this. But uh, anyway, uh, his bio right here. And then his damage. 
Let's see what kind of damage he took. So his mouth is, is messed up. The sensor of his head, or like his, uh, his, his cybernetic eye is pretty messed up. His face, not as bad. The back of his head, yeah. Sides here, uh, no bone here sticking out. Now his ribs though, you can see bones in his ribs and that's pretty nasty. And then bone here, kind of left knee once again. And then, oh, this is just, this is just demolished I'm trying to go down. Yeah. His little, his little, uh, by his, by his ankle, I mean to say. Now you look at his alternate character bio. Oh, I come, I didn't even remember that the skin was in this game, but, uh, okay. Yeah. So, okay. There's that. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's interesting. So his, his other eye now is, it's funny cause his eye is still blinking like, but it's, he can't, he can't open it. And some wires there. This one is way worse than the first one and his mouth is destroyed and okay yep. rest in peace to all the nipples lost man uh, you see his arm like his bone right there in his hand there's just the back of his is yeah so and more bones in his other hand so his arms are pretty destroyed his knee uh are these bones down here maybe a little bit oh ew and that's that's like hanging off. That's that flesh is just hanging off there. So, yeah, man. That was pretty bad. That was way worse than the first one. So this is what Katana looks like normally, and uh, she has really long hair, like super long hair. And this is the bio. And eh, that's not that bad. Like her eye is pretty messed up. Oh. <laughs> I'm using this controller on PC and like, it's really, it's, see how I'm, I move it slightly and it just moves like a bunch. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, ribs bruised a little bit. And of course the cloth is like all ripped up once again for her top. And then the hands messed up. Like, this isn't even that bad. Like, you can see some bone here at the bottom of her leg. And, uh, but honestly, this ain't that bad. And then we're going to check out her alternate character bio. And, you know, I always thought her face looked kind of weird. <laughs> like, when I saw it in story mode for the first time, I was like, oh, that's, that's odd. I think it's, if you look at the top of her head, at the right side, I don't know. I guess it's just kind of how it, it's shaped with that hair. It's a little bit odd. This is the bio. And then is the damage. So you have her face, it's like peeling. And then you have the arm, you have the back, the bruise, the hands, more bruises. Yeah, like honestly, this isn't that bad. All right, so then we got the boy Kung Lao. All right, so Kung Lao. I, I always thought his costume looked so cool in this game. I'm pretty sure it's the same one from his, like, Shaolin monks. And I think this is actually, like, his classic normal costume. But, like, I like his costume here, like, a lot. I like it I like it more than I like his MK11 costume. And this is nasty, dude. So his hat's messed up. Look at his face. His eye is... You know, you ever play Resident Evil 2? Uh, the new one? The remake? And you look at the William Birkin fight scene, like the first one that you, like the first time you fight him, or I guess anytime really, if you look at his, like his, his, his like gigantic right arm with like the eye bulging out, that in Kung Lao's head looks exactly like William Birkin's eye. I'm not even kidding. It looks exactly the same and it's nasty. His chin is ripped up. You got his back. And it's just it's mangled. His arm here. I don't even know what, what's going on over here with his arm. It's like some welts or something. I don't know. His hands destroyed. I see some claw marks here. I don't know if he was fighting like Molina or like... I don't... It's not going to be Baraka. He's not going to like... But it, it's... I think that was Molina who scratched him there and there. 
at least what it looks like. I don't know. Oh, no, reptile, maybe. Maybe reptile, actually. I don't know. Now, this is kind of odd. If you look at his leg here, I don't know what's going on here. I think his bone just, like, might be completely dislocated or something. Because I don't think his leg is, like, th is that wide, at least not at the knee. So, I don't know what's going on here. If you have any idea, leave a comment. <laughs> but all in all, other than that, I don't think it's that bad. It's just his face. His face is nasty. It's so, it's, it's, it's messed up. And then the dude has a second costume as well. And I like this costume too. It's actually not bad. It's cool. Um, I like the first one more though. I like the dragon though. Bio once again. And then, yeah, this one actually isn't as bad. I mean, it's still pretty bad, but like if you look at his mouth, but, and the hat's still destroyed in the same place. But his eye is not nearly as bad. The back of his head is messed up. Uh, right arm, once again, has the most amount of damage for some reason. Another nipple loss in the chat. <laughs> um, his leg is pretty messed up, man. But honestly, all in all, this one wasn't as bad. What do you think? Now, here is my other favorite character, Liu Kang. He's got two costumes. And, uh, yeah, I like his belt. It's pretty awesome. The dragon belt. And this is his damage. Actually, let, let me um put the bio on, too, in case you want to read that. All right, and then I'm going to... You can pause it if you want. This is... So his lips kind of messed up. Chin, face, both of his eyes are pretty damaged, which is interesting. Um, I think, what is that, like bone in his nose you can see a little bit? What is disgusting. Back of his head seems to be fine. Um, his chest is all kinds of messed up. It's not as bad, though, as the other characters. And his back is pretty messed up. But, I don't, did I, did I see, any see any bones? Hold on, let me look at his teeth. Attention to detail, am I right? <laughs> um, his belt is... Aw, the dragon's kind of messed up. And then you got his legs. Honestly, this wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. He still has, like, his bones in his pla in place and everything. And The worst one is by far Jax. Second costume. Jax's second costume. So this is Liu Kang's other costume. And let's see if... Oh, uh, man, this one is just begging for a nipple meme right here. Like, I mean, not that those exist yet, but they might exist now. I don't know. And, oh, the nipple is saved. I'm sorry. I, I had to, man. Look at the look at the costume, bro. That That is just, that's, look at his face. Nose is messed up. That's like just an entire, like, piece of his face just, like, hanging off there. The teeth and the lip and the chin, it's messed up. Oops, side of his face, ripped. His face be looking like some beef jerky. And I guess that's some bone on the top of his head. His eyes still messed up a little bit. Uh, back, not as much. I mean, other than that, it's really these characters' faces that have like the most amount of damage. And then his leg, his leg here is kind of messed up. But, like, if you watch the uh, my Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath series... Like, this is kind of reminiscent. I'm not going to say anything else, because I don't want to spoil it for, for anyone who hasn't, I don't know, who hasn't seen it. But, I mean, man, that, 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 uh, it's, it's flashing me back. I'm getting a flashback to MK Aftermath. Oh, boy. So then we have Melina. Yep, this, this Melina. So now we have Melina. And... I think she has the same pose as Katana, right? I mean, she's kind of a clone of her, so I guess it makes sense. And then... Was, was Jade's pose sa still the same like this? I like the girls. Are they supposed to be like like the hand on the hip? I don't know if Jade was the same. But we'll see. So that's the bio, and this is the damage. And that is... That's a nightmare. <laughs> uh, you, you got how her teeth actually looks like, even though I think her teeth is still there for the most part. Toggle damage on and off. And then, oh boy. <laughs> there's, there's really no safe way to do this. <laughs> is there? I mean... 
just the way that these characters are like designed, like these costumes, but like it's right up in your face. <laughs> like you can't zoom in at all. I mean, I'm trying to, yeah, try to stay up here. There's the uh, there's the back right there. You can see the spine, and then I guess the hand. Man, every every place I zoom in, it's a danger zone. It's a it's a danger zone, bro. You can't you can't zoom in anywhere. She has both her knees like I mean it's funny because I think Jade and Katana, the two girls so far, both of their knees were pretty messed up. But uh, this wasn't that bad. Like honestly, all in all, like she doesn't have like that much damage at all. And then she's got her second her alternate costume, and this one, oh boy, oh, oh, I thought it, I man, I thought it was gonna be, you know that costume when she's like just in like a bunch of bandages. It makes no sense. She's pretty much naked, but she has like a bunch of bandages, and somehow that's a costume. Like it, it, it holds on. Like it's, it, it stays on her as she fights. It makes absolutely zero sense. But I thought that was gonna be this one right here, but no, it's not. So, all right, this is her her second costume. It's kind of reminiscent of Katana's other one, and then toggle the damage. Then you have the bio here. So the bio. Same thing, I think. The eyes messed up. The teeth are messed up. Look at that. Look at those teeth. It wasn't messed up in the first one, I don't think. And then you have the back. I mean, honestly, so far this still isn't that messed up. But I mean, the complete back piece is just ripped. The um, the costume. I mean to say. And then her index finger is still kind of messed up. Not as messed up as Jade's was. And, like, her damage is not that bad compared to the others. It's not that bad at all. And now we have Nightwolf's first costume, and this is what my dude looks like. Uh, such a badass. Um, this is his bio. And then, actually, this, is, this isn't that bad. Like, his face is a little messed up, but, like, it's peeling. It's pretty nasty. Um, especially like the top of his head there, but like, I think this one isn't that bad. There's, I mean, there's some bone here, I think, but if you just look at the rest, like it's, yeah, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. I think this one might be like the least amount of damage, like maybe even less than Kenshi, maybe the same, maybe one above Kenshi, but if we if we were to rank this. But uh, another thing that I noticed, right, is like, so I mentioned before Injustice, the first Injustice, not the second one, the first Injustice has damage concepts like this, but it's not nearly as bloody, um, but, it, you know, it's still some like scars and stuff you'll see. And what essentially this is, though, is that this is all laid on top of the character. And that's what I read. So I read it somewhere. I think I was reading up on like on it and they had like a picture of Shazam from Injustice and like his his damage concept. But uh Oh, can you see his back? Like his, his spine? No, you can't. But uh, but yeah. So they put all these details on top of the character model. That's Nightwolf, and we're gonna check out his second costume. I think the second one was what, like a bear suit or something? Like, yeah, boy. Yeah, buddy. He's got um. Oh no, it's not a bear. It's a wolf. I mean, <laughs> well, why did I think it was a bear? His name's Nightwolf. I mean, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I like this costume a lot. Um, it's, although I think the symbol is, it's kind of funny how he has it, it's like on the thing, on like a, what, what is that piece called when it's like, like a cloth hanging down from like your waist? I don't know what that's called, but a lot of these characters in this game have it. And then Bio once again. I know that there are different Night Wolves, but I'm pretty sure this is just the same one, so. Aw, look at the wolf. The wolf's nose is all messed up, the snout eyes missing um and then there's like just like a bunch of like damage to it i guess his face his eye messed up his nose like johnny cages was in the alternate skin um it's messed up it's like crooked now deviated uh honestly other than that he he doesn't have it that bad like the, the this here the it's nasty it's nasty the back, you can't really see the damage on the back, but then down here, 
Yeah, like he barely has any damage on his left. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say on his left leg, but a little bit. I think both of Nightwolf's costumes aren't that bad in terms of damage. I think they're both like fine. So now we have Noob here, and this should be interesting because uh, Noob is uh, what is he? I want to. I don't want to say Revenant, but he's, he's something else. You know, Bihan. But uh, I think this is such a badass design. I like this design of Noob more than the MK11 one. I don't know about you. You can let me know in the comments down below. This is his bio. Uh, and then this is how he looks. I think this is one of the coolest damage concepts in the game. I think it looks actually pretty good. Um, because it's like, it's like blue. And it kind of matches like the black. It looks really cool. Um, now, if we're actually looking at the detail here, because it's kind of hard to see, his nose is like messed up. And then his, like, his, the, his entire... Well, hold on, no. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because his skin tone is, like, it's, like, black. <laughs> well, man, it, <laughs> his... He's black now. <laughs> um, well, he wasn't black when he was alive. But now that he's... I don't know if he's a revenant. He, I don't think he's a revenant. He's something else. But... Now his skin tone's black, like pitch black, like he's actually, like actually black. And then I guess his blood then is what I'm trying to say. Is it blood or gore, whatever you want to call it, it's blue. So yeah, if you base it off of that, his entire face is destroyed. Like the, the bottom half of his face. I think he might be missing some teeth too, even, I don't know. Um, other than that, not that bad. It's not that bad at all. Compared to the other ones. Um, and then you have his legs. And still, I think... I think he's alright. But still, it's such a badass costume. Just it's, His normal costume is so cool. And then we got Raiden. I like this Raiden costume so much. I like his one in MK11. I don't play him... I don't play as him in MK11, but I used to play as him here sometimes. And uh, I like his costume here. I think it's cool. But actually, I think though... Honestly though, I think his MK11 costume is better though. With all the colors, I think it's just, it's a better looking costume. But I do like this one. And I think his actual, his his alternate costume here is actually the Dark Raiden costume from uh, that game. So if you look at his eyes, uh, it's kind of hard to see with that bamboo hat messed up. Both skin's peeling, back of his head's not that bad. The ear is kind of messed up. And then you kind of go down and then you have like, you have this. And then, like, you have his spine sticking out. So, his one is, like... And then you have his arm here. His, his arm and his, like, bones are sticking out. This one's actually worse than uh, some of the ones on the list so far. And the foot here. I'm kind of rating this based on how many bones are sticking out. And, like, both of his feet have bones sticking out. So, his one isn't the worst one. But it's still... It's, it's up there. You know, it's up there. So now we have his alternate character bio. And this is badass, dude. This is his Dark Raiden costume. His Dark costume, I guess. And um, I guess it's just kind of ripped up normally. Or actually, I don't know if it's like a glitch. It might <laughs> it might be. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's kind of just going through his leg here. But just ignore that. And then... This is his face. Eyes still messed up. This costume's kind of glitchy a little bit if you look at his... But I guess he has like a scar there. His mouth's messed up. Uh, back of his head. His ear. Oh, dang. You can see the bone from that side of his face. Like his, his jawbone by his ear. I guess just the back of his head, I guess. Side. Another nipple lost <laughs> in the chat. Um, then we got some stuff going on here. And then, bone, right there. Yeah, Raiden's got some damage to him. Yeah, and both of his, like, leg, uh, like, both of his, um, leg guards are, like, pretty messed up. So, whew. Who's next? Oh. Oh, by the way, speaking of Raiden, I don't have his hat, but I have, he's another one that I have the action figure for. This is what he looks like. And he's, like, I think he's, like, Six inches or something. He's bigger than the Johnny Cage one. Which I think is like four or something. I don't know. But this is what he looks like. 
I don't know where his hat is, <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Then we got Reptile. Man, his eyes are really far apart. I mean, he's a reptile, so... <laughs> does he have three fingers or does he have four? I'm trying to... No, he, so he has four fingers, but he has three toes. Or I guess he has one in the back. I don't know. So this is what he looks like. It's pretty cool. His bio right here. And then this is his damage concept. So he has blue blood. Kind of like Noob, but I guess Noob's was darker. Uh, Yeah. Like, some of these are just so shocking. Like, I mean, I guess any normal person who hasn't played Mortal Kombat ever... And like looks at this, they're going to be like, oh, that's nasty. To, pr to pretty much every single one of these. But when you look at all of them, you can kind of see which ones are like way, way worse. Like you'll look at them and you'll say, dang, that is nasty. This one doesn't do that. This one isn't that bad. Jax had that effect. I think Kung Lao had it a little bit. Um, Baraka definitely had it. And Ermac definitely had it. So this is his other costume here. I don't know how this mask of his works. Um, it's kind of weird, actually. Uh, this is his, his alternate costume, the, f the full thing. It's very stitched up, and it's, it's interesting. I'll give it that. And he's kind of got like a like a, a reptile kind of like snake kind of uh, design for his belt buckle. Bio once again. And then we have his damage. This one's worse than the first one. His eye is all kinds of messed up. It's really just the eye that was kind of messed up so now we got scorpion Oop. i have the action figure for him but he's like really loose i have no idea where his swords are though but i think it's Oop. i think it's pretty cool so yeah i know he, he moves around like a lot so this is what scorpion I, I like this costume a lot i think this is a pretty cool costume for scorpion uh we got the bio here and this is his damage I think this one's pretty interesting because you look at his face and it's it's skull. It's kind of like Ghost Rider. I always thought that was pretty cool. Um, so I guess he's not really taking that much damage because he's he's really a, a, a specter. Another nipple lost. His arms, this arm's pretty messed up. This arm is messed up too. Yeah, so both of his arms, you see the bone there in that one. And then, yeah, so the back of his heel, I think that's a bone. Yeah, you can see the bone there, I think. And then, actually, no, not, not there either, but yeah. So that was pretty cool. And then we have his alternate character bio. So I think this one looks good. This one looks good, too. I forgot about this one. But, yeah, this is a cool-looking one. I like how his swords look here. And uh, I think this is his, like, what, like classic one from a, a different game or something. Let's see what the damage is. So, once again, the skull's coming out um, a bit more so than the other one. I guess he's really, like, the only character here who, like, when, when the skull comes out, it, it really isn't that, like, oh, wow, look at... So, you can see his... You see that? How, that's kind of cool how it's, it just, like, opens up like this. That's it's pretty interesting how it's just, like, a, there's, like, a huge gap there, I mean... Oh, and then I was going to say the arm here isn't bad, isn't that bad, but I'm trying to zoom in to the left, but it's kind of split open down there. So the bone here is snapped. This one seems to be fine. <laughs> and then down here too, bone snapped again. So, wow, he actually has, not only does he have two bones, oh, he's three bones sticking out. He has, well, actually he has more than that, but a good amount of them are actually snapped. Now, this, this is kind of odd. Is, isn't this the knee? This is the knee right here. But for some reason, it's like it's like it's like it's lower down. But yeah, I got to say that this damage concept is way more brutal than the first one. And now we have Sector. I'm telling you, I'm sure that Sector and Cyrax are going to be DLC. Like Combat Pack 2 from Mortal Kombat 11. Because I'm pretty sure that Ed Boon said that there's not going to be any characters in MK11 that aren't playable. Like, kind of how, like, in MK11, there was, like, Tanya, but she became DLC. But then there was also, like, Baraka and, I think, Rain, but they weren't DLC at all. But then he said that all the characters in the game are going to be DLC. So, 
Shiva was in the game. And I'm like, well, based on what he said, she's got to be DLC. And now she is in Combat Pack 2. Um, and look at his brain right here. So, yeah, that's what I was talking about before with Cyrax. But his brain wasn't out. I mean, honestly, I think that's the worst injury here for him. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, since uh, Cyrax and Sector are in that game, I'm sure that they're going to come back. Now, it's a little bit iffy, though, because Ed Boon also said that um, they're not going to bring... They're not going to have the same DLC character come back for two consecutive games. So, for example, Kenshi was DLC in MK9 in this game, and he's not in MK11, the base game, so he's not going to... Based on what Ed Boon said, he's not going to be the DLC character for MK11. And let's check out his second... Let's check out his second skin now. Yeah, but, I mean, there was Triborg in MKX, and that was technically Cyrax, Sector, and Smoke. But it it was technically them, but at the same... And also Cyber Sub-Zero, but at the same time, technically it wasn't them. So this is what Sector looks like normally. So I would still say, though, that Sector and Cyrax are going to be DLC for Combat Pack 2, but, you know, you can never be too sure. Yeah, and he has his uh, jetpack here. I think what's interesting, though, is that how Cabal, though... He got, he got his powers after he got burned, right? But instead of having his cop uniform, like his full cop uniform, and his normal, like, you know, like, unburned, or not burned uh, version of himself, instead of that being the alternate costume, he's still burned, he still has the mask and the gas mask. As compared to Cyrax and Sector here, and their abilities come from their being a cyborg, but they have human forms. I think that's interesting. So his bone here is sticking out of his knee and his foot here. Uh, so, I mean, oh, this is nasty up here. It's really messed up. All, all throughout here, his arm is, and then it's, wow, another nipple lost the side. Yeah, and then uh, it's kind of an awkward place to have like a, like a cut there. I don't know if he was like stabbed or something there, but I mean... I think what the real damage is here is his face. There's a bruise. That's not that bad. On this side, no, it's not really. But then it's his mouth that's, like, ripped open and the side of his head here. That's real. That's gross, dude. Way worse than the cyborg version. I mean, I mean, you know, I guess you would expect that, right? You would expect it to be like that. So now we have Shang Tsung. That's what he looks like. Is his alternate uh, costume his old version? Like when he's, I think it might be, I think that would make sense. You know, he's got the snake on him and uh, his bio is this. And then this is his damage. So once again, his eye, so his eye is exactly like um, Kung Lao's right eye, except now it's the left eye. It looks exactly the same. As a matter of fact, it, this is like William Birkin, like, like again, like pretty much all over. But uh, his lips messed up. It's busted. Back of his head. Ooh, ew. That's what is it like? Hair or something? Or veins? I don't know. Uh, it's kind of ripped up over here. But for some reason, his pendant's still fine. Like his necklace. Uh, then you have his legs, right? His legs, and then, and then hold on. Do you have his feet? So his feet. You can see his toes at the bottom, but I mean, they look they look kind of bloody, but they look like they're they're still there, you know? This one wasn't that bad. And this is his old version, and man, that looks weird. Uh, I think it's because of his eyes. They're like gray. But, yeah, his style hasn't changed much. His bio once again, and then his, his, uh, his damage. So he really looks, like, this dude looks like a feral ghoul. Like, not even with the damage, like, just normal by himself. He looks like a feral ghoul from, like, Fallout. <laughs> like, or like uh, one of those Draugrs from Skyrim. That's what he looks like. And, I mean, the damage don't make him much better. I mean, like, his nose like his nose is just missing. Like, a piece of it. Side of his face. Um, and then you got his spine, once again, sticking out. You got the side of him. Uh, is that a bone? Yeah. From his elbow. And that's just nasty. Look at this. I think that's the fabric. I don't know if it's like, yeah, it must be the fabric, that black thing hanging from the side. And then this arm is, yikes, in the side here. And then you have his knee 
and then yeah man so that's what this is right here i think this one might have been worse than the first one and then we have shiva and boy shiva does not look like this in uh mk11 yeah and i think it's the same pose for all the the, the girls they have like one hand on their hip and uh Yeah, so then you have the bio for Shiva, and then you have the damage. So, okay, she has more damage than I think the other girls have. Oh, one of her, uh, one of her, or actually not uh, one, I think two of them, of her horns, I guess, are kind of messed up. And then you go down to her arm, that bone is snapped out of there. Oh, there's another bone snapped. Yikes. Yeah, this one was pretty bad. Like, yeah, she was pretty pretty messed up here. And then you have the alternate character, Bio. And... She's got some war paint on there. Uh, okay, she's got some chains. And... Yeah, let's see what the uh, damage is here. Yeah, this one's way worse. Like, her eye is pop... Like, you know it's like it's going down when the eye is, like, popping out. So, he's got her skull sticking out here. Or, like, you could see the skull, rather. Um, chain's broken. Some damage around the... Around the midsection. The back, definitely. Some damage there. I mean, other than, like, the head, I don't see any bones popping out. Oh, never mind. There's a bone right here. And her leg. I don't know. I think maybe this one was worse. Just because of the eye. Alright, so now we have Sindel. And I have to say, out of all of these characters here so far. Maybe, like, like female characters at least. I think she looks the most like her MK11 counterpart. A little bit older, yeah. But, like, other than that, like, she looks pretty similar to how she looks in MK11. All the other ones look very different. Uh, uh, Katana, sh definitely Shiva, Jade, all of them. Um, this one's not that bad. Like, I mean, it's kind of nasty. Your eyes bleeding, but I mean, there's a few few bruises there on her face. Oh, uh, so there's a bone sticking out here by the pelvis, which is. Uh, can you imagine how bad that would be? That's terrible, dude. By your pelvis, man. Like your hip. That's. I think that that's way worse than any of these limbs like getting like snapped. Is that a bone? No, I think it's just some, just some uh, muscle sticking out. But yeah, this one actually no, there's bone right here. Yeah. I mean, this one wasn't that bad. You know, I think actually um, Jade had a pretty like I mean, pretty messed up injury like just on her finger. Like I haven't seen that with any of these other characters. Excuse me, with like a a finger like the uh, bone sticking out. I don't even remember this skin in this game at all. I don't remember this one at all. But, uh, this one's interesting. She's got the fishnets going on. Like, I mean, imagine fighting in this outfit. Like, I mean, all of the other ones, sure. But just because I don't remember this one at all. Like, now I'm, it's really kicking in. Like, imagine fighting in something like this. <laughs> like, there's no wonder she ends up looking like this after a fight. And, dang, look at that eye, dude. Are eyeballs that big? I mean... Because... Dude. Yeah, look at this, man. Eyeball... Dude, her eyeball is just... I That is nasty, dude. Side of the face, you got the sternum sticking out. What is that, like a, another bone? Nah. It's a lot more bruises... And then I think this one, this bone was sticking on the other one too, wasn't it? The other costume. So this one was worse than the first one in terms of damage. It was way worse. And then you have smoke, dude. I miss smoke, man. Smoke was awesome. Smoke's awesome. Tomas Verbata. Am I saying that right? Let's see, so here, yep. Oh, this is nasty. This is easily one of the worst ones on the list. Look at his face. His face is destroyed. You know what? Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. This is a dude who can turn into a, into smoke. 
This, this is a dude who can turn into smoke. How is he so damaged? That's my question. How does he take damage? Like, I mean... Yeah, because, like, how are you going to hit him? Like, what are you, like, a human vacuum? Like, are you... Are you like, listen, if Sector has, like, a vacuum, like, in one of his... Like, you know... If Sector has a built-in vacuum, then I could see him taking him and damaging him. But, like, you're still not going to be, like... It's not, it's not going to be like this, you know? Like, yeah, look at his face, dude. That eye is destroyed. That nose is destroyed. And the mouth. Oh, wow. Oh, and you have the back and the neck there. And that's a that's a nasty bruise. I think this is the worst bruise I've seen so far. You could, it's The bruise is so bad, you can see the veins coming out. Like the veins in his arm. And, yeah. So gross. And then, oh, the nipple is just barely saved. <laughs> oh, man. But then you have the midsection here. I don't know if you get, like, stabbed or something. And he's got, like, blood there and then his, his his knee is out and his his entire foot is kind of like just his bo the bones are out it's terrible i think this is easily top five worst injuries here on the list him Jax, Bar uh, brock is no Jax is the worst one i think still this one is probably second worst honestly just look at the look at that this dude has seen some stuff <laughs> just look at that man i remember this one <laughs> Sony Blade. So, once again, hand on the hip. Here's the bio. And then, here's the damage. Oh, I didn't remember that the, the piece here was sticking out too. Like the bone there, kind of. That's nasty. Face is all kinds of damaged. Bunch of, a bunch of rips on the back. And this is just gross. Look at, look at her arm here. It is peeling off. And of course, the uh, the hand itself has the bone sticking out. Um, and then of course, the like who who fights in this? <laughs> like, seriously. But I mean, yeah, it gets it's all like all of the women's clothes. They all get ripped. You notice that every single one of them. Then you have the fingers. It's not as bad as Jade's. And then of course, the left knee once again is sticking out. I don't know what they have with left knee sticking out. And then you have the the feet, the toes here with bones sticking out man does this girl not wear underwear at all <laughs> like she's just going command like oh <laughs> it's funny because i think she so she's going commando and she is commando she's going commando and she is a commander i mean like because <laughs> like with johnny cage like he in his second uniform when he's like wearing like a suit you could see like the suit fabric like the like the inside shirt underneath when the Top layer is like ripped off, so I think it's interesting. And man, I miss Striker, dude. I like Striker. I think Striker was a he was a really cool character, man. He's got his batons on his back. He's got his guns, and of course his 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 flat his trusty flashlight and his dual pistols. This guy's like loaded. He's like armed and loaded to the teeth. You have the bio here, and then yeah, he's got a messed up injury. Yeah, like his uh his his eye is shut. Now, I, okay, I think the side of this is the worst side of the head injury I've ever seen in, like in the game so far. Like you, I don't like you could see a what is that like a the line on the side of his head. That's that's terrible, dude. And then his face is ripped to shreds. So bad. Honestly, if you look at it just like this, it's it's bad, but it's not as bad as the other ones, like 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 Jackson, Braca, and Ermac, and the one we just saw. I forgot what, who it was, but. You look at the side here, then you're like, oh, crap. Um, and then he has some more on his face, too, like the bridge of his nose and all that stuff. The middle of his chest is ripped, but his, his necklace is still there. Uh, this is a really weird injury. I don't know what that is supposed to be. And then it rips all over, like, his arms. And, and his, so his elbow is like, yeah, that's, that's, that's bad. But it gets worse. It, it, so you're going to see in a second. I, I remember this injury. This one right here. Look at the angle of that, that 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 break. It's that's that's nasty, dude. It's sticking out completely horizontally. And you have his uh, the bones in his feet too. His one's pr up there in terms of damage. It's pretty bad. Not as bad as some, but pretty bad. And oop. 
Here's another character whose action figure I have. I have one more action figure for one of these characters, and this is this is Subby Sub Zero right here. Camera stopped again automatically, but uh, this is Sub Zero, and I like this costume. I think this is pretty cool. I think I like his costume here more than I like it in MK11. You have the bio here, Kui Liang, and then you have the damage. So you could, I think it's cool that you could actually see underneath the mask, um, nose and mouth and stuff. But like it's it's ripped up. He uh, his eye is shut. The side of his head is like this, and oh dang, his his ear is mangled, dude. It's like a who do you fight, Mike Tyson? <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Well, I mean, it's not... Okay, no, I think it's bad, but it's not as bad as Barack. Because Barack's ear was was ripped off. He's the one who fought Mike Tyson, dude. You look over here, and he's got... I mean, he's got some bad injuries. Like, it's pretty bloody. Like, the back here especially. It's not as bad as Johnny Cage's, though. Um, But I don't see any bones sticking out here. So his, his one actually, all in all isn't that bad. It actually isn't. I don't know if I could say the same though for his alternate costume because it might be much worse. Actually, no, that's right. Yo, oh. See, I keep checking the bio for both of them because I, I know that I thought one of them was gonna be a different character. Kind of like how in Injustice, the normal costume for Nightwing is Dick Grayson, Nightwing, and then the second one is Damian Wayne. So it's two different characters. Now, I forgot if the bio changed when you check the two different costumes for them. But in this game, I completely forgot as well. And I was just thinking, one of these characters has is two characters, right? This is the one. Because Kui Liang is the younger brother, which is the first Sub-Zero costume. The second one here is Bihan, which is Noob. But for some reason, I'm reading this right now, it doesn't change the bio. So, But anyway, uh, we're going to... Yeah, uh, this is much worse. And this is Bihan, this is Noob as a human. Well, before he he died and stuff, but... Yeah, that's that's way worse than uh, Kui Liang's injury. His mouth is messed up, his eye is messed up. Now, his back, you can actually see the, the bones. Uh, and then... Honestly... Uh, this uh, this is a bone right here at the bottom. Yeah, I think so. This one, and bone on his foot here. It was worse than Kui Liang's, but it wasn't. It wasn't the worst injury on the list. So okay, Cyber Sub Zero only has one costume. So it's funny because this is actually Kui Liang. I always thought it was stupid how in this game it was Kui Liang. Who got turned into a cyborg instead of smoke? I thought, you know, because I liked, I thought cyber smoke. It, I was used to it, but I also thought it made more sense. Because how are you gonna have Sub Zero turn into a cyborg? You know, it doesn't make sense. Like honestly speaking, Sub Zero should have never died. Kui Liang, Bihan, yeah, but Kui Liang, nah. See, Kui Liang, and this is what I remember. So, you have Kui Liang's brain right here. And it's not even, like, floating around anywhere. It's just, like, up to the metal itself, which is kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, you have all these loose wires hanging out. And, uh, oh, wow, you can actually see his uh, his core here. So, I, I think the detail here is actually pretty cool how they have it. I thought that was pretty cool how they did it here, but... Um, I still think, and he's missing the, the foot piece, like I think Cyrax was as well. I think it would have been better if it was Smoke, who had still became... Like, honestly, I think that the changes that, that they make... Honestly, I feel like the changes that they're making to these characters kind of, are kind of stupid. Some of them, like how they changed Sindel into a completely stupid character now. Like, I don't like her backstory anymore. It's It's dumb. If you want to hear about what it was... Go watch my um, MK11 Aftermath series, and you'll see. Um, and then, yeah, it was also Cyber Sub-Zero instead of Cyber Smoke. And then there was one other character. 
I was trying to remember who they changed the backstory for or something. This is Quan Chi. Quan Chi isn't that bad with the damage. Uh, like, honestly speaking, I think he has one of like, the least amount of damage ever. Like, as a matter of fact, he's dealt more damage. Look at this, dude. It's You know that's not his own blood. That's somebody else's blood right there. But I also think that he has the best fatality. At least he has the funniest one, honestly. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have another video after this. Oh, and he has spikes on his uh, boots too. That's cool. Just reacting or just like watching all the x-ray moves and all the fatalities. Because I haven't, I haven't looked at them in a long time. Some of them have stuck though in my head for such a long time. So I remember them, but some of them not so much. But as a matter of fact, I think that Quan Chi has the least amount of damage. Less than Kenshi and less than... um. Whoever the other character was that I said. I can't remember now. Oh, did I forget? Oh, man. I think I forgot Quan Chi's second costume. Yeah, I did. Maybe this one's worse because his first one had the least amount of damage as far as I can tell. Him and Kenshi. Um, but, yeah, we look at Quan Chi here. You look at his damage. His foot is... Uh, the bones are sticking out. Uh... Another nipple lost. And if I could tell, it's always like that side. Like, it's always that right side, and then it's always the right arm that's super damaged. And then when it comes to the knee, it's usually the left knee, if not always here, that's like damaged. But I notice it's mostly the girls, though, who have dam uh, who have knee injuries, and it's the left one. Yeah, his face is completely mangled here. And still, it's still not as bad as some of the other ones. But it's way worse than his first one. And then we have Scarlet. So this is back to the DLC characters, only have one costume, and boy does Scarlet look different than she does in MK11. And then, here's her damage. So, since she's a blood mage, right, so she controls blood, if she starts to bleed herself, can she use that to attack the, I think she can use her own blood to attack somebody else. I don't know. Maybe that's a move in the game that I'm forgetting. Like, you can, like... It's pretty dark, but maybe she can, like, cut herself and, like, use that, like, to... Buff her damage or something. But, yeah, her, um... Her eye's bloodshot, which is kind of ironic, but... Ain't that bad. Um... Then you have... Like, I mean... Just looking at this damage, it's, it's her hand right here has the worst amount of damage. I think that that's some bone sticking out. Yeah, I mean, some bone here too, but other than that, it's not that bad. Honestly, I, th I don't think the girls in this game have that much damage. And then we have Freddy Krueger. DLC character. And, yeah, he's kind of like, um, he's kind of like uh, Cabal. Except he doesn't need a, respira uh, a respirator to, to breathe. He looks like he's breathing just fine, but he definitely got into a fight with Mike Tyson. Both of his ears. I didn't notice that like one of his eyes is like he's like he's like this. He has like this uh this resting like, like like face like that. Oh crap! <laughs> oh that that changes that. Actually, not even not not even though. Look at his face. When he does this, it's still like that. That's higher than the other kinda. But um. Man. You know, my favorite thing about Freddy is that he inspired Scary Terry to be made. Because I love Scary Terry. Scary Terry is awesome. It's my fa like, I think he's like, he's one of my favorite Rick and Morty characters. Him, Rick, of course, and Crumbobulous Michael. So awesome. He's got his claws going up. And he has it on both hands instead of just one. I don't know if, I'm pretty sure in the movies he had it on just like one hand of claws. But uh, it makes more sense for it to be on both here. Oh, and did I... Yeah, let me read the... Uh, I'll have the thing on the thing so you can read it if you want. And let's get into the damage. So his eye is out. Not necessarily William Birkin, because it's blue instead of brown, but... Oh, wow. Oh. So if you look at the top of his head here, this is interesting, because the hat... You can see inside the hat. Because his entire like top of his head is like messed up. 
Oh, and then is it like ash? Oh no, that's just how his, his cheeks are, his cheekbones. Honestly, other than that though, he doesn't have that much damage for the rest of his body. Like, honestly speaking, now that I'm looking at this, I would say that he has the least amount of damage out of all the characters maybe, or at least close. The one thing that kind of disqualifies that is his head. Look at his eye, his face, like that. Yeah, you know, that's just... Oh, and that's it. Okay. There you go, everybody. That was the MK9 damage concepts. Ranking, I guess? Yeah, you know, I think after looking at all of these, like, some of these are definitely much worse than the other ones. Like, they're all bad, but some are definitely much worse. Like, you can tell within, like, a second of looking at it, much worse. I think Jax had the worst one. I think Baraka still definitely had one of the worst ones. And uh, a couple other ones. I'm trying to remember what they are. But then when it comes to like the least amount of damage, Kenshi and someone else. I forgot the name. Man, uh, Quan Chi. So yeah, that was me also testing out my uh, new setup here with my PC recording. I'm going to have a lot more stuff coming up on my channel soon. So thank you for watching. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought about all these damage concepts. And also let me know which character you think has the most amount of damage, like is like the worst and which one has the least amount. Thank you so much for watching. I am close to 100 subscribers. I'm real close and I'm so grateful for each and every single person who has subscribed to my channel, has liked my content and you know, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. It means so much to me. And if you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I am close to 100 and I have a lot more videos coming very soon. So thank you so much for watching once again. I'll see you in the next one. Peace be with you.